Hi, and welcome to the Millsert Mike channel. And no, this isn't what I carried today worrying about the Antifa protests. Um, I'm going to make a video showing my concealed carry guns, and I'm just going to kind of go over when I carry these different guns, uh, what the situation's for. So, uh, first off, I'm just going to start with the gun that I carry the most, my Beretta 92FS Compact Inox. It's uh, 13 plus 1, 9mm. I always carry a spare mag at least, and sometimes, if um, like in the winter, if I can wear a flannel shirt, I might carry a mag pouch with two extra mags. Uh, my favorite ammo to use is Fort Scott Munitions. I've, I'm sure you've heard me talk about them in the past. But that's what I, you know, when I'm wearing jeans and a belt, that's what I mainly use. Um, probably the gun I carry the second most often is my Sig Sauer P238. Um, I did a review on this and I did a review on the Don't Tread on Me crotch carry holster. Uh, I'll put a link to the video on that. I carry this mainly to the gym and if I need something deep concealment, like if I'm wearing jogging shorts and I'm going to go running or just go to the gym, you know, this, with the combination of this holster is perfect. I can carry my spare mags in there. Um, I also have another holster for this. If I, if I have jeans on and I just need to throw something in the pocket real quick, I have this little bulldog host, holster that's perfect for that. Uh, the gun that I carry probably the third most often is my Ruger SR 1911. This is kind of a winter carry. Uh, especially when I'm wearing gloves, I can just, I can just, you know, get my finger on the trigger a little bit easier, and it's easier to draw with gloves on. So, you know, I carry that, and I usually carry two spare mags with that because, uh, you know, the less the single stack on the 1911. When I need to tuck a shirt in, and I need something smaller, I like to carry my Glock 43. And these holsters are great for tucking in while carrying. I wore this to a wedding last year and didn't really notice. Um, another holster that I like to use sometimes if I'm going out for a walk with my wife and kids and I'm, you know, I don't have a pair of jeans on that has a, has a belt, I can also carry it in this belly band got two this belly band will take two extra mags and that's where you put your gun uh, finally for the guns that I carry um, this is probably the one I carry the least often this is just like if I just have a pair of shorts on or a pair of sweats on I want to run to a quick trip real quick and I don't have any pockets or anything just kind of a sticky type holster. I have a little Ruger LCR. This is actually the 357 model, but I just I just have a actually 38 special wad cutters in there. Uh, like I said, you know this is just something. You know if I need something real quick, and you know I can you know I can hold this up with the drawstring of a pair of running shorts or a pair of sweats. And this is the one I carry the least often. Now I want to talk a little bit about the. Uh, holsters that I like to use. Like I said, this is the one I carry the most often. And if you notice, I have one for my Beretta, my my uh, 1911, and my Glock 43. This is the Cover 6 Gear, sorry, this is the Cover 6 Gear uh, single point swivel holster. And this just gives you a lot of options for concealed carry. Um, I carry inside the waistband, and then I kind of cant it up just a little bit, about oh, probably about the 330 position, and that works really well for me. Plus, I like this extra flap up here. Just, I mean, I wear an undershirt anyway, but still, it's a good protection. So, I mean, you know, I'm as you can see from my videos, I'm not a skinny guy, so my fat kind of gives me retention, and I don't know, this is just a good overall leather holster. So, as you can see, I bought, like I said, I got one for my Beretta, I got one for my uh, 1911, and I got one for my Glock. Um, 
one thing that I usually always have on me too, um, it never hurts to have a good pocket knife on you. Not for self-defense purposes really. <coughs> Excuse me. But, you know, this is mainly like a box slayer. Or, I mean, it's just a handy tool to have on you. I have a Benchmade auto knife. So, that's just something else I always have on me. Uh, finally, I guess I should mention on my concealed carry is the belt. You always got to have a good belt. And I have a Galco leather belt. It is... I mean, it's definitely reinforced. I've had this belt now for over a year. You can tell where uh, the holster, where I have my holster on on this belt. So, I mean, there's many, many belts out there. I just like my Galco belt. So, that's pretty much, uh, I mean, I've carried other guns before, but these are my main, what, one, two, three, four, five, that I use at various times of the year. And I know this, I haven't had very many Millsurp videos out lately. I just got a new house. I'll probably be working on it more than I'll be able to go out and go shooting. So, actually as I move, I may do a few collection videos. You know, like my British collection, my French collection, my Russian collection, my American collection, and my German collection. Uh, the latter two are probably the ones I'm most proud of. So I'm, you, I may have a few of those videos coming, but I hope, I hope to get out shooting sometime soon, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. So anyway, if you like what you see, check out some of my other videos. Uh, check out who I support on Patreon. Check out my Facebook and Twitter. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, of course. And remember, contact your senators and representatives. Tell them no compromise on gun control. No compromise. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day.